Hey there, welcome back to Bishop's Garage. Today we're going to be working on Jerry, our 1974 Bay Window Volkswagen T2 bus. And we are going to be doing ball joints. And all that that entails. We're going to go ahead and start from nothing with just the tire taken off. Step you through the whole process as we learn about it too. Hopefully you can get something from this and it can help you in your own project. Uh, thanks for coming along on this and let's get to this. Okay, we're going to take an exam here of uh, our situation where we're sitting with our ball joints. Looks like our best bet is going to be we're going to take this bolt off down here. Then we're going to take this one off up here. Then this whole assembly is going to come off and we'll hang by zip strips or bailing wire over here somewhere out of the way. Then we can start on the, uh, the two ball joints here. Eh, need to do this sometime. This sway bar, uh, <laughs> it's not doing a lot of swaying. All right, well, I don't have a metric socket for this, but the 1 and 1 16th seems to fit just fine. Uh, we're going to need a short stubby extension on that. Get my hand savers on here. Whenever you're doing work, always get some of these gloves. They're far cheaper on Amazon than at any auto shop I've found. So I've got the car jacked up. I've got it up on uh, jacks on either side, just um, next to the frame on the torsion bar. Now the rubber on here is pretty worn in spots. Time to take these off. Alright, well, that certainly wasn't terribly tight. Now I know with other ball joints, ball joints. Typically you back the nut off till it's about flush with the end of the peg here. Just so you have some space. You can get a pickle fork in here to drive this this part off. Um, so that's just what we're going to try. I really should use some PV blaster and a brush on there first. Let me get that out of the way.
All right, so you'll notice that the ball joints here have a little gap. There's a little gap on the other side too. And there's a special Volkswagen part that you can use to help press these out, or you can just get one of these clamps and I'll show you how that works instead. That's $20 versus $200. So you fit each side of this clamp in that little gap and you don't squeeze it super tight just tight enough so it's snug or you'll be fighting the the clamp strength clamping against there too can get this boot off here. I think that's going to be a whole lot easier on me. Huh. Ball joint seems a little loose. <laughs> So you should be able to see this far more pronounced notch right here. And then when we put this up here, it's going to be sitting against the, the clamp. Takes a little bit of angling to get it on there. So let me show you how this is set up now. 
you can see you can see I have the clamp in the notch on both sides I've got the uh, piece of piping here which is anchored there and there pressing here and uh, well let's uh, start cranking it down see what happens a couple of turns. That pop is good. Good news. You can see now that it's it's come down a little bit. See if I can hold this while I'm doing this. On to the top one. All right, well, an interesting discovery. This top <laughs> ball joint has like an adjustable center. So it's got like an offset so it can be put into the, so it does like a toe in or out on here. Well, that's gonna be different because I ordered four of the same ball joint because that's what was recommended. Apparently that's not the case. Well, we'll have to probably, I bet you the other side's the same. We'll have to order whatever these are. Special offset uh, adjustable ball joints. Man. <laughs> Same sort of setup, I'll show you again. Got that clamp sitting in the little notch. We're just driving straight down. Got, I think that's like a two inch, and then the little cup hold one at the bottom. So our goofball <laughs> ball joint here, goofball ball joint, what it is, is it's an adjustable eccentric that I had to press this out with a ball joint press. But once you get the eccentric off, it is a standard ball joint. And this eccentric goes in, you can see how it's kind of offset. It goes in the upper part of the, the wheel, whatchamacallit, <laughs> right here. And adjusting this left and right will allow you to adjust the toe back and forth, the camber. 
Well, so that's pressed out. We can now put it back together and I have no idea where the adjustment was sitting. Yay.